Hey, welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, I'm going to show you something that I think is pretty cool. And if you have Affinity Photo, this is a pretty nice workflow that you can use to move from on one to Affinity Photo fast and easy. Let's go. So here we are inside of on one photo raw, and I'm not going to really edit an image. I just want to show you this export feature. So I'm going to click on an image, which is this image of a train in a subway station or a train station. And I'm just going to click on export. Now the export module inside of on one is probably an amazing tool that I don't explore enough here on the channel. If that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a dedicated video about the export. Now, with that being said, this trick is inspired by a video that I seen from Anthony Morgani. I think that's how you say his name, uh, where he moved from Lightroom to on one photo raw but we're going to move from on one photo raw to affinity photo and it's actually really easy. So first thing is I like to add in the name affinity photo and then I use a token of file name. Now you can make this whatever you want it to be, but this is what I would prefer to have my file name as. Now we'll move down to the destination piece. All right. If yours is hidden, then just click on the title destination and it'll show up or you can hit show hide over here whichever one uh, you have once it opens up where it says folder i like to work in the same as original now that is 100 personal preference you could put this wherever you feel like putting it once you choose wherever you want again i recommend save folder as original uh, same thing happened in Anthony Morgani's video. He put it inside of the original folder. Uh, I think that's just good for administrative and organizational uh, rules, if you will. So moving down, this is where the real magic happens inside of on one is you can choose what happens to your photo after it exports. Now, I'm going to open it in Affinity Photo. And that's all you have to do. Now, if Affinity Photo isn't the app that you want to open it in, bonus tip, you can change this to whatever. So if I wanted to send this to Photoshop, then I could do that. If I wanted to send this to Topaz Photo AI or HDR effects, whatever I wanted to send it to, you can also send it to other applications just by clicking on send to other applications. All right. So the next thing that you should do is choose what type of file you want to work with inside of Affinity Photo. If you click on the file type, you can choose original, JPEG, whatever you want. I want to work with a Photoshop PSD. Now, if you want to work with a TIFF, you can do that as well. But then over here where it says profile, uh, I leave mine on sRGB. I see all this good stuff. You could change this to whatever you want to change it to, whatever you think is the best for your uh, camera or your color space that you want to work in. Um, if that's something that you're really concerned with, you could do that. That's not a problem. And if you're changing this, then you probably already know why you need to change it. Now, the next thing is the bit depth. Leave that at 16 bit. Once that's done, all you have to do is hit export. Now, if on one asks you the settings for the preset, which I made a preset for this, right? Uh, that they changed. Do you want to save them? Now I'm not going to change my uh, preset, so I'm going to click no. But if you are creating a preset for the first time, um, you may want to actually hit no. Uh, and then you'll use the save preset option down here at the bottom of the export window, because that will allow you to actually save a preset. So you're not saving over one of your previous presets, but I'm going to click no, because I don't need those settings to update. And then it's going to render out. It is going through its export process right now. And I'm not touching anything. I'm just going to let the computer do its thing. Uh, and, and I may have to switch over. Let me hit command tab here 
and let's go to Affinity Photo. Okay, so I had to switch it over to Affinity Photo just because I have the programs working in full screen for the tutorial recording purpose. I don't actually work with the programs in full screen. It just makes it easier to record the screen this way. So uh, I had to hit Command Tab to move over to Affinity Photo. Now, here is my file inside of Affinity Photo. From here, you can take it and work on it like you would any other uh, project inside of Affinity Photo. What I think you're going to realize is uh, when you get ready to save this, you have a few different options. So I do want to go over that just briefly. So uh, if you go up to File and you hit Save, this is going to save it as an Affinity Photo file. All right, that's very important. This is going to save it as an Infinity Photo file. Now, you'll just hit save, and this means you can always open this back up again inside of Affinity Photo, and you're good to go. Now, if for whatever reason you have a requirement to work solely in PSDs, then what you want to do is instead of hitting File Save after you have done all of your work, if you want to keep this as a PSD, you actually want to hit export. All right. You'll come up to file and you'll hit export. And if you remember this extremely long keyboard shortcut, then you could just use that. But you'll hit export and you'll select PSD up here at the top. Now, I always use preserve accuracy. Uh, that's just a personal preference. But if you need to preserve editability, then you can. And that is exactly what it says. It's going to preserve the editability for your uh, particular layers and uh, when it does the conversion to a PSD file so you can open it in Photoshop. And then I never use the Final Cut Pro version. So once you have that, you'll click on export and you'll receive a uh, dialog box here where you can save it. Now, I have all of my files inside of the Unsplash. This is where the original PSD that I exported from Affinity Photo lives as well. So now, when I hit save, I'm also greeted with another dialog box. And this one is telling me that uh, you have this file with the exact same file name saved inside of your uh, folder that you're trying to put this in. Well, if you do not want to overwrite that, then you need to rename the file. But if you're okay with overwriting it with whatever information that you want to uh, add from Affinity Photo or whatever edits you made in Affinity Photo, you want to overwrite the existing PSD, to save on file space and to not get confused later down the line, then you can just go ahead and hit replace. And it's going to replace it with the PSD of all of your edits, uh, with all of your edits from um, Affinity Photo. Now, this is a fairly non-destructive way of working. Um, you don't retain all of your undos or anything like that. Uh, but ultimately you'll have layers that you worked on inside of Affinity Photo. So hopefully you found this tutorial value at it. If you did, smash the like button. If you are considering picking up a copy of Alma Photo Raw, uh, I ask that you consider using the affiliate links in the description box below. And let me know in the comment section below if this is a technique that you would consider using or that you have already been using and i'm just late to the party and until next time i want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating peace